Yo, what is up? This is your boy Guru back with a new video and uh, today we are talking about the new Lensen C tier 8 premium medium tank from Sweden. Well, that was a handful. Now, we are in um, highway on, on the uh, north spawn and uh, this is the situation the kind of game where this tank uh, typically shines. Uh, we are top tier. Uh, we are mobile, we have agility, uh, we're gonna ace this game uh, to be frank with you and um, then we're gonna go into the details about how and uh, when and why this tank is good in situations like this. Anyway, I'm running with a pretty shitty crew, uh, 1.8 skill crew, no BIA, uh, just, the, the, just um, camouflage and six cents that's about it that's all i got and i am running the optics rammer vertical stabilizer um a configuration uh, on this tank and uh, to be frank with you the aiming time is pretty shit and i did try out uh swapping out the um swapping out the rammer for gun lane drive to be honest with you i tried it out for a few games it didn't work out because you still need that one one extra one second quicker aim time because uh without rammer it's going to be like eight and a half seconds of aiming uh, sorry of a uh, reload time and uh, with the rammer is 7.6 seconds reload time which is pretty decent so i swapped it out back to the rammer again uh, the aim time is pretty horrible on this tank and that's the, that's about one of the downsides uh, of this tank. Uh, other than that, uh, what you got going for this tank, uh, the good thing on this tank is the uh, camouflage values and the uh, vision. And that's what I'm going to talk about right now because the camouflage value is, is really good on this tank. It's um, 30 something percent if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's really good for a medium tank uh, the only thing that I would say it's better than this would be the T44-100 in the, the same kind of you know the same kind of class tank and um, the vision uh, view range on this tank is 460 if you have the optics if you have like if you have a better if you have a better commander with um because the commander also has the uh, situational awareness thing as well as the recon uh, if you have that both to 100 percent and the bia i think you could get this around the 470 plus uh, view range which is really good for this tank so you've got these two things going for this tank which is the view range and the uh, camouflage values but you got really crap dispersion and really crap aim time well it's not crap dispersion it's 0.35 uh it's not like crap crap but it's the aim time that really fucks this thing over so you need to think about that and uh in my opinion the credit value i mean the, the amount of credit that you make on this tank uh is not that great as well especially if you're going to be fighting anything tier 9 and above because this oh my goodness afk afk killed the afk the most dangerous tanks on the enemy team is always the afk tanks uh, they could be awake by the time you get there so kill them fast no i'm just kidding uh free damage target that's not moving it makes sense to kill them you are leading this game eight ga uh, eight tanks to three you might as well kill the afk tanks so as i was saying this thing shines when you are top tier when you are bullying it's really good uh, because um, there's really no one out there to challenge you um, when you are in that position where you can bully uh, if you are top tier in the 357 or you know whatever if you're the top five tanks and you're top tier you there's just not really many tanks out there that can challenge you except for maybe the revelry say maybe the t44 100 um scorpion could really fuck you up but otherwise no one can 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 really shit on you so if you if you find yourself in a situation where you are top tier uh you you gotta be brave uh, and you gotta realize that you have really good camo you got really good um view range and use that to your advantage now in in my 
position right now, I, I have terrible crew. 1.8 skill crew, no BIA, but if you had BIA and um, you had better crew than me, I suppose you could make that um, aim time work for you. Right now, my aim time uh, is something like 2.29 seconds, but if you have that BIA, if you're running, you have to run food uh, because of the aim time that is so bad. So, and also this thing uh, gets gets set gets set on fire 10% of the time. Um, I've played 20 games, 21 games, and I've got set on fire uh, maybe twice or three times. So that's the sad thing about this. Now, I'm going to finish this game with an ace tanker. I don't want those guys to cap, but they're capping it out. Uh, I do manage to get the kill. Fifth kill here. I'm going for my sixth kill, but they have capped it out. Just before I could pull the trigger on the last shot, I could have killed this guy and I could have got the ace, uh, got the top gun as well. But not everything works out as the way you planned it. But that's okay. Anyway, mobility is really good on this tank as well. And there you go, my ace tanker, 90,000 credits or whatever. Uh, if you fire premium shells on this tank, you're not going to make a lot of credits. That's why I say the credit earning on this tank, if you're fighting tier 9s and 10s, it's not going to be really good because you're going to be shooting a lot of APCR shells. Now, the mobility on this tank, 50 kilometers uh, an hour forward and 20 kilometers an hour backward. It's, it's not too bad. The mobility is really good on this tank. It feels a lot like... Uh, like a fast medium tank that you would have like a t44 100 it feels like it look at that he half my hp gone just from that fire from another lens and thank goodness i got a bit of like spotting damage from that so it wasn't too bad but look at this one this one i've got three quarter of my hp left a little bit more than three quarter of my hp left and rt just one shots me from there so this thing is bad with rt and it's bad with fires. Uh, if you carry a fire extinguisher, you're gonna lose out on that that food potential that you need. Uh, here's where you are really good bullying tier sevens, um, bullying anything that is lower than you. That's where this thing is really good at. Um, again, I do recommend that you keep that uh, gun link, uh, gun rammer because. You can't replace that with anything else. Uh, you need that gun rammer to get your reload down, time down to seven and a half seconds, 7.6 seconds. And because uh, you have really good view range and you have good camouflage value, you really need uh, that um, optics. Yeah, optics is uh, really important for this tank. So, um, I suppose you could remove vertical stabilizer and never really try that out and use vents instead to improve everything else. Maybe it's something you could try out, I'm not sure. Um, maybe I might try that out in another video uh, as an experiment. Remove the vertical stabilizers for um, vents. It could work, I don't know. But um, if you are top tier, you really need to use your bully position. Uh, trade some of your HP for a bit of damage because uh, otherwise you, you're you not going to get into positions that uh, get you any kind of damage. So uh, you've got to find your way to trade your HP for a little bit of damage when you have the opportunity to uh, get damage. But if you're in in lower tiers lower tier games where you're fighting tier nines and tier tens good luck on it because it's not really good fighting tier nines and tier tens you fire a lot of premium shells which means you don't earn a lot of hp uh sorry which means you don't earn a lot of credits if you're fighting uh, if you're shooting um if you're shooting uh premium shells a lot so when you when you do have the opportunity to be top tier you need to bully your way forward and get as much damage as you can to make up for the bad games that you have when you're fighting the tier 9s and tier 10s anyway that's my review on this tank uh, do i like this tank yes i do like this tank very much thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video Bye bye